Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. You know how it goes by now, right? Hey, quick side note, I did a little bit of grinding. Uh, you'll notice I have a different party. I just kind of ran around and did my thing and worked on additions. Uh, everybody is now Dragoon level 5. So rather than grind that out on camera, I just did that between episodes real quick. Uh, Rose has a new addition, and that's about the extent of what has changed. I tried out that accessory, by the way, the one that does automatic additions. Uh, sure enough, it's automatic, yeah, of course, and you get half SP, mm -hmm, that's nice. The addition usage does not count, so, so much for my great plan there. Uh, would be a quick and easy way to get SP for Kongol, perhaps, but his additions are so easy that why would you do that? Why are these people so impressed to see me? I'm just a dude in a boat. You'd think they would see it pretty frequently, no? It's quite the little dinghy to hold our whole party, though. Well, someone does. Ah, the mayor. Excellent. That means we have an inn. <laughs> you might say that. Certainly not, like, master and student, or teacher and student, teacher and pupil, whatever, but... Learn some techniques from Hashel, sure. He's pretty strong, why wouldn't I? Yeah, we kind of do have the fate of the world to worry about right now, don't we? Or at least the fate of, of humankind. Uh, the world itself is going to be fine. So is not looking to destroy the world, just humans. Okay. Yes, I did see which way the mayor went. I am just uh, looking around. Because that's how I do. Looking for stardust. Stardust, stardust. No. Didn't want to go up there just yet. I actually did not check these pots down here. So let's see. Come on, come on. Let's use the arrow keys for a little finer control. Rather than the analog stick. Uh-oh. Now I've done it. Going back to my ship. Didn't mean to. I mashed the X button too hastily. For shame. Then again, I always say it. Wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't do something really silly like this, completely by mistake. Sort of my trademark. Perhaps I'll change my name from Chrono Dragoon to Silly McBungles. No, I wouldn't do that. I'm not trying to be an actual clown here. I just uh, slip up like a lot of people. But I do this all in one take. Very rarely do I do more than one take for a video. So you all get to see my screw-ups, my slip-ups, my slight miscalculations, all that good stuff. 
I think it makes for a more organic experience. Isn't it a jar to put fish in? But there's stardust in there? No. Okay, it's just a jar to put fish in. It has such a small opening. It is a jar to put water in or something. Or stardust? I'm going to find a stardust in here. I just know it. What did that say? Made from a finely woven plant. Must be good for muggy nights. Yeah. It would be nice and cool and breathable. just changed the sheets on our bed last night, my wife and I. Um, we, we do that regularly, don't worry, but we went from our uh, cooler sheets to our warmer sheets. Got a couple sets of each. Um, because the weather's getting cooler. And, oh boy, I slept so good last night. So nice and warm. Anyway, let's talk to the mayor. I didn't find any stardust after all. Wait, did I check in that pot over by Hashel? I was too busy jib-jabbing. There's, there's got to be more to their life than that. Like, that's an oversimplification, right? They don't just literally wake up, train, and then go to sleep, and then wake up and repeat, or, or fish. Like, they have to have some sort of human interaction in between, otherwise life's not worth living. could explain, or we could just ask Mary to get her wings out. It's not a creepy thing to ask, is it? She's 16, but it's not like the wings are a, you know. I'm, I'm just going to stop that line of thought right there. Point is, if Mary's willing, we can show this guy what a wingly is, and what a giganto is too, because we've got Kongol with us, right? In fact, that's my party, is Meru and Kongol. <laughs> I guess I like the non-human characters. Well, not only that, but they're both amazing. Meru's so fast, and um, Kongol's so strong. A stick? got to be bigger than a stick, right? When I think of a stick, I think of like one that you hold in your hand that's like short It's not even very thick, because if it becomes thick, then it's a branch or a bough. It's not as small as a twig. But... A stick. Okay, check this pot. Wow! I feel like I'm being mocked. Did I check this pot? 
I didn't check that pot, but guess what? Nothing in it. Fine. Sheesh. Oh, speaking of, it's Martel. What about these pots? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Loyal, yes, I'm sure whatever happened to you is tragic. But I am looking for Stardust. Don't bother me. What does Martel have to say? Oop, controller bonk there. Y you're surprised that we came here. We're surprised to see you here. She just said that twice in a row. That's weird. Yes, absolutely. Especially now that I know what it's for, I am very delighted. To bring Stardust to Martell. What do we got here? Cha-ching! There's a stone in among the herbs. Guess what that is? Boom jams. Martell didn't look right there. It's just around the corner. By the way, take a look at my gold down there on the bottom left. <laughs> Over 16,000. So that hundred was really you know, next to nothing. The bride becomes a family member of the groom's island. Interesting. So like the boys stay on their islands and the girls come to other islands? Okay. I got... 27. Huh. I guess I must have seen her last when I had 21. Because if I just gave 6... All right, well, let's look around some more. If I can just find, I don't know, three more Stardust around here, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Satori Vest. Do you fight with the sword? I fight using the sword. What kind of a question is that? This giant sword here at my hip doesn't tell you that I fight with a sword? Yeah. Who can wear the Satori vest? Shall we find out? Uh, it'll be all the way at the bottom, right? Oh, I've got to scroll down every time. Okay. What? Wow! Anyone else feel like putting that on? Oops. Uh, Maru? Uh, yeah, let's boost Maru's defense a little bit. I'll take that over the attack. She needs a bit more survivability. I have a feeling that uh, is going to be, yeah, it's going to be just Hashel. But that's fine, because holy cow, what a good item. Phew. Gives 50% more SP. Don't need it. I am Dragoon level 5. Yes, I do need it to restore the SP meter when I use the Dragoon. But uh, SP is no longer such a big concern for me. Because I've got everyone's... SP 
level up stat maxed. That, of course, being Dragoon level. In here... Oh, a War God's Calling. Literally just bought one of those, and it's useless to me. It's not the way I wanted to go, but it'll work all the same. Hmm. Pardon my giant yawn. It sticks on the ears of the middle of the sea, isn't it spooky? Spooky, scary stick skeletons. No more need for shivers down my spine. It is past Halloween. Never been one much of a Halloween celebrator myself. Not opposed to it, just not my bag. However, my kid really loved it this year. Uh, he's still a little too young to go out at night, so we did some what's called trunk or treat. If you're not familiar with that, it's where a bunch of cars uh, park in a parking lot with their trunks facing inward. Uh, the people open up the back of their trunk, they decorate it for Halloween, and they stand by it and give out candy. And it's a public event, um, so it's very safe. It's all during daylight hours. The ones we went to were at like 10 or 11 a.m., and then one at... Or no, was it 1 p.m.? I don't know, it was like midday. So, it was cool. Kid got quite a haul, and still we didn't have to violate his bedtime. Now, excuse me, that is not a stick. It's sticking out. You know what, Hashel? There's still no stick. That's much more than a stick. Thank you, Meru. Okay, so... Stick was not just a poor translation, but an actual, like, these people are not very smart in that regard. They're smart in other regards, don't get me wrong. But yeah. I'm gonna say, if it's just like a log rising out of the sea, weird, but humanly possible. That out there, on the other hand, okay. Well, Dart, it was 11,000 years ago. curious as well. Hmm. Yes, it is. Sure I do. But let's go through all of it. Well, yes, 
that's what you told us. I'm asking if there's anything else to tell. Yes, I did. Once again, I'm asking if there's any further detail. Okay, now tell us about Xenobatos. Okay, so it's just like a capital city. I, uh, I'm biting my tongue pretty hard. I've said before, this is not the channel for political commentary, but oh boy. That reminds me of uh, some certain places I could name, but will not. We're not going to go there, friends. But oof, yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. Don't, don't be making laws to control others. That's gross. Says the firmly middle class citizen of the United States, where there's lots of laws created to control even me. But, uh, Rage Against the Machine said it best. Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. Fortunately, this cage has a computer, a PlayStation, and some crummy internet, so at least I can make these videos. Alright, now then, what about the magical city Aglas? Sounds like something that would go on a shoe. A shoelace specifically? No, I don't watch Phineas and Ferb. I did know what an aglet was before that. The aglet goes through the eyelet. This is something they used to teach us in schools. Back before knowledge was taboo. Again, not the place for sociopolitical commentary. Just now when I said socio-political, I really felt like I was making an ASMR video. Socio-political. That give you chills? Um, and that reminded me I saw an ASMR, what was it? Was it a Facebook short or was it an Instagram reel? Anyway, uh, some guy does pencil drawing and then goes over it in ink and uh, compiles the whole thing to be ASMR. So like he'll tap on the book a little bit like uh, ruffle through the pages and then the scritch scritch of the pencil and the whoosh, whoosh of the pin and like he does it to a beat sometimes when the you know the final edit cut to make it you know like 45 to 60 seconds but the one i saw was he was drawing eminem you know the rapper uh, as a peanut m and m Oh my gosh, and the face? Yeah, it looked like Marshall Mathers, but it also kind of looked like a JoJo character. So I was like, this is if Eminem was in JoJo's and his stand was literally a chocolate candy. It was amazing. I loved it. And the ASMR was nice, I guess, but I didn't have headphones on, so no chills for me. But I did enjoy the final product. Okay, so that's Aglas. How can we approach it? Gotta hurry, or Zeke will get there first. Well, we cannot go by boat. We gotta find some other way. If only we could fly. Just get in a fight. Go, go out onto the road, find a monster, get in a fight. Go in the insanity of battle, turn into a dragoon, and fly. Come on, Dart. Hey, those people were looking at us. We should go back and talk to them. Also, since there's pretty much literally nowhere else to go. Realization of progress makes even a hard practice enjoyable. Yes! Yes, it does. I, I remember when I was... Um, in high school, I played instruments in band, and uh, when I would have kind of a breakthrough uh, in remembering or memorizing or learning a song, oh, felt good. Made all the practice worth it. Okay, so no boats by the stick. 
Discipline your body and discipline your heart. Then the Tao of the martial art will open itself. Never forget it. Okay, what's a Tao? I mean, I'm uncultured and ignorant, so uh, what's a Tao? The, the only Tao I know is from Dragon Ball. Tao Pai Pai, the assassin. Isn't there a book like the Tao Te Ching, or I may be completely mispronouncing that? I don't know. Ooh, here's a cutscene for us. Uh, who's this self-important looking wingly? Yeah, I speak a little Japanese. Extremely little. This might solve our whirlpool problem. Yep. Looks like our next destination. Stick got stickier. There's sticks on sticks. Stick fingers. Maybe we can uh, check our blood sugar if we're gonna stick fingers. But um, ching. Yeah. So for those who don't know, uh, when you test blood sugar, often you take blood from your finger. Uh, and to poke your finger to make it bleed a little bit is called stick. You stick your finger with a lancet. And then you just get a little tiny drop of blood and that's all you need to test. Um, my dad is diabetic, so I learned this stiff. I myself am not. I'm trying to avoid type 2. I'm trying to eat reasonably well and started exercising. For those who know me, uh, you'll realize how shocking that may be, because I really haven't exercised uh, since middle school, not just for the purpose of exercising. Uh, I got exercise when I was in marching band, yes, but that was high school, and uh, to date myself a little bit, I graduated in 2004. Yep, old, told ya. And before that, I was in PE class in middle school, and that is the last time that I exercised for the sake of exercising um, until just recently. My wife and I joined the gym. How do I get to that? Okay, I need to go there, but like maybe my boat? So anyway, a friend of mine was looking for a gym buddy, um, so that was an opportunity. Uh, my wife and I were like, oh, well, we've been thinking about joining a gym. Let's do it. My friend got a gym buddy. My wife and I have a nice 24-7 facility to go exercise when we need to. Yeah. See, y'all don't have any shops for me. There's nothing left here. Yes, that's where we're going. Yes, we are. Goodbye. 
Anywho. So far I've just been doing some cardio. A little bit of treadmill, a little bit of recumbent station or stationary recumbent bicycle. Instead of a bike where you sit up, it's a bike where you like lean back. Okay, return to Rouge, go to the Queen Fury, or go to Aglis. Let's put the eyelet in the aglet. The aglet in the eyelet. I feel like Porky Pig. Let, 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 let's just advance the story. I'm bringing the eyelet to the aglet. Except it's Aglis, and the eyelet is dragoons. That analogy completely fell apart, and I apologize. What's going on here? <laughs> That's so blunt. <laughs> magic. Somebody supporting this with magic. Yeah. Obviously. That's remarkably sensible. I mean, Rose is one of the most sensible characters in this whole game, but... Yeah, okay. What is do we... Of course, the door can't be split down the middle. It's got to be all weird shaped. Otherwise, it doesn't look cool. Yes. Yeah, it's true. thing I'm ready to play hardball too. Was that little bridge really necessary? Was that second stop really necessary? There. That was getting pretty long-winded. I would forget it too.
Imut. Okay, we're gonna have an int moot. I figured it wouldn't open since there's no green arrow, but give it a try, why not? Oh good, more teleporters, my very favorite thing. All right, I do have an extra item that I got while level grinding. I happen to pick up an extra body purifier. As long as I have two of those, I think I'm in good shape. So let's see what this is. Oh, a burnout. Okay. All right. There's encounters in here, yeah? Let me get in one just so I can throw the burnout. That seems pretty good. Wow, but 560 was not a kill. Impressive. Oh, I rushed it. I was late. It's funny because I was just level grinding earlier today. I should know my additions. Did not get to the circle button in time. I think I was late that time. Look, I know their animations don't change, but like, Mara's had all this time to practice with her hammer and she still falls over during her victory pose. Come on, girl, what are you doing? Gushing magma, that's a little better. Okay, this is annoying. Like, why would you have all these different branches if they all just are like a linear path. What do we got here? Magical hat. That sounds like a hard pass. But let's see. Oh! Oh, I eat my words. That is absolutely wonderful. And then I need to use up an item so I have some space to open this other box. See what goodies there are. Ooh. Those are some creepy looking jellyfish thingamabobs. Let's. Oh, you know what? This is Congo. There we go. <laughs> Alright, now with Meru, perhaps, I can use... I don't mind using this because it's not a um, one of the powerful attack ones. Oh, but that sure didn't do much damage. Sheesh. Oh, 
Oh, the other thing that happened during level grinding was uh, Congo gained a character level, which is terribly unexciting. Anyway, my belly aching about these platforms is a bit invalidated because I just realized there was a branching path. However, it's fairly linear. Like, why couldn't you just have me walk down a corridor with a fork? I didn't need all these teleporters. This is not the Team Rocket basement, this is not Sylphco. I guess teleporters weren't really in the rocket basement, were they? Ooh, that did not do much damage. Okay, he's stunned, so let's switch over to Aqua King. Wow. Aqua King didn't take much damage either. Wow, I'm quite impressed that I managed to land the hit after the counter. Oops, messed that one up. experience. I found out a place where you can experience grind pretty well, but you have to be prepared for it. Uh, those rainbow birds actually that I fought in that last episode, um, they give off 3,000 experience, but they're so crazy hard to hit. Hey, there's Roth. Ruff, come and talk to me. Oh, this is Fuey. source of power. Why did that dialogue box show up? That was a little odd. Okay, let's use this healing potion real quick. Get it out of the inventory. Angel's prayer. Okay. Hey, if I look around here... find some stardust? I highly doubt it. I'm pretty sure that's towns only and is not found in the uh, field anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna guess this one. Hey, I was right. Look at that. Can't carry any more items. All right, all right, all right. Let's get in battle so I can use up another item. Minotaur and a jelly this time. A new combination, but not that interesting, to be perfectly honest. Oh, that jelly's uh, long gone now. Okay, what do we got here? Maybe I can use that. Uh, oh, well, powerful attacks.
But that would be a huge waste. Those would be huge wastes. Yep, I'm wasting it. I have five of them. I don't need five of them. Charging spirit, okay. Time to take this guy down quick. towards that level up. I think one more level and she might um, get a new addition. Oh, Sun Rhapsody instead. Lovely. Whoa, that cursor went from blue to red awful fast. It's just going to be trash mobs through here, isn't it? A bummer. Okay, what is Sun Rhapsody again? Completely recovers MP, just one character. Okay. This may seem insane to you, and yes, yes it is. But for one thing, I haven't seen Kongol's individual transformation sequence yet. This is pretty rad. Now he's going to use up some magic. I want to see what this golden dragon looks like. Not a dragon. It's an antlion tank. Okay, well, that was strange. Stream. Yeah, I'm doing this just so I can feel justified using a Sun Rhapsody. <laughs> so I have some space in my inventory for the next treasure box I come across. <laughs> 150. Next to nothing. It only doesn't hit too hard, at least. But you know what? I say no more turns for you. Alright, here goes nothing. Oh, Congo only has three hits. Sweet. 657, that's much better. Now I gotta use a couple additions with Kongol to get his SP back. But more than that, I can now feel 
like uh, I'm justified using this thing. Where is it? Uh, Sun Rhapsody, yeah? Yeah, that's the one. There we go. It's gonna be pretty hilarious if there are no more treasure chests after all that. Ooh, is that a magical creature or a, an enemy? That's another magic creature, okay. Okay. Sonobatos, which governs the rightful law, has lost its reason, and Mayfil, which governs over noble death, has been toyed with by devils from the infernal world. The city is no exception. Magic power is deteriorating and cannot prevent the invasion by monsters anymore. The only saving grace is my. This city's objective is about to be completed. You are the key. I have been waiting for you for thousands of years. Come before he comes. Yep, we sure will find out. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I mean, it's not Dragon Ball Z, but I am going to take this opportunity to round things off. Since there's not a save point here, we're going to just use the save state. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like as it helps the video to get seen and the channel to keep on growing. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. I'm currently doing episodes of um, Legend of Dragoon once a week, Wario Land Colorized once a week for the Game Boy. Uh, that's my weekend series until Dragon Quest Monsters the Dark Prince comes out in December. I also do some Pokemon trading card game pack openings as shorts it's for a little variety. Uh, so if any of that sounds like your cup of tea, go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications of when I upload a new video. Other than that, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.